Well, hundreds of striking workers at Fairpoint Communications say they will continue to fight despite a mediation breakdown today. Yeah, that's right. And representatives from two unions and from the company arrived in Boston for mediation this morning, which ended with no resolution. WM2W News H. Jim Keatley joins us now live in the studio with these new developments. Jim. Tracy, a union rep, told me that they aren't quite sure what the company's end game is, but they went to Boston willing to find common ground and say Fairpoint wasn't willing to go there. Fairpoint, meanwhile, put the blame on the unions, saying they haven't come up with any meaningful proposals. And so the fight continues. Day 33 of the divisive strike at Fairpoint Communications. Outside the company headquarters in Portland, about three dozen workers continue to picket as replacement workers are doing their jobs inside. One sign read, being fair is the point. It's hard, but the morale is good. We are all sticking together. Julie Dawkins is an administrative assistant who's worked at Fairpoint for 21 years. She's angry over the company's plan to cut $700 million by outsourcing local jobs, cutting employee pensions, and asking them to contribute to their health care costs. The union says it's already agreed to contribute to health care costs. They say that is among the $200 million in concessions they've made. While well, they say the company won't budge on its original plan to cut $700 million. Fairpoint says the opposite, claiming the union hasn't made any proposals and blaming union leaders for the impasse. The union now taking its fight to the airwaves, buying 30 second TV ads, hoping to win public support. This ad shows a Fairpoint worker talking about her daughter's heart defect. And she needs to have another procedure. Without the surgery, she doesn't live. The ad says on October 31st, Fairpoint canceled all striking workers' health care. Those striking workers are now disappointed but not surprised that mediation in Boston didn't work. But they're not willing to give up. We're very committed that, that this that they are going to be reasonable. We still have the faith that they'll be reasonable. We're not going there yet. We're not thinking defeat at all. As for the TV ads related to the canceled health care, Fairpoint says those employees walked off the job, so they're not eligible for company health care coverage. As for what's next, Fairpoint says the door is always open. Live in Portland, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.